welcome to Bionic Scientific. I am here to introduce you our waste incinerator. This incinerator is especially constructed for animal incineration. However, you can use it for biomedical waste disposal, disposal of laboratory waste and other kinds of waste. It is completely made of stainless steel. Making this incinerator rust proof. Usually incinerator is kept outside in open, so rust proof construction is prime requisite. This incinerator is mounted on four wheels, two on front side, two on rear side. These are rear wheels. This is rear wheel. Wheels on front side are lockable. You can easily lock them by pressing the lock by your feet. It is unlocked. It is locked. Now it is locked like this this incinerator has two chambers primary chamber this is primary chamber waste is put in this chamber this is secondary chamber it is inbuilt you cannot see this chamber the best part of this incinerator is its insulation. We use high quality insulation inside this chamber. Let's see the insulation part. The white part that you are seeing here is insulation. This white part is insulation. This is the rear part of secondary chamber. This insulation is for primary chamber. This is rear part of primary chamber. Insulation is necessary for any furnace or incinerator because it keeps the temperature of outer surface normal to avoid any miss happening. This is primary chamber. Now I let you see the inner part of primary chamber. It is made of zirconia board. The zirconia board is four sides on the chamber and also on the door. This is tray. Waste is put in this tray. This tray is placed on silicon carbide plate it is very strong it can bear up to 500 kilogram of weight and the heating is done by canthal A1 heating elements we use only canthal A1 wires canthal A1 heating elements for excellent heating in our furnace and incinerator systems This is secondary chamber. Gases and smoke that burns in primary chamber and directly comes out into the secondary chamber for further burnout. This is only for excellent burning and disposal capability. This is control system of our incinerator. This part of control panel is for primary chamber. This part of control panel is for secondary chamber. The primary chamber runs on three phase electricity. These are three ampere meters for all three phases. First phase, second phase.
second phase, third phase. These are three phase indicators showing that each phase is working correctly. This part is for secondary chamber. This is voltmeter, ampere meter, heating indicator, and mace indicator. All these for that. This is PID controller for primary chamber. The temperature of primary chamber is set through this PID controller. This is PID controller for secondary chamber. Temperature of secondary chamber is set through this PID controller. These are mains MCBs for both the chambers. Primary chamber for secondary chamber. This is on off switch for cooling fans. Cooling fans on both of the sides. Left side cooling fan. Cooling fan at right side. This is the chimney. This chimney is also made of stainless steel. It is put and fixed upon the incinerator. It is used to exhaust all smoke and gases. While installing, it is to ensure that the chimney is fixed tightly and correct manner make sure all nuts and bolts are tightly closed this is fume filtration systems. Gases smoke comes through this. A water connection pipe is connected to this pot. Water is filled in this pot in this filtration system. To filter the smoke in order to make this incinerator environment friendly. The smoke that comes out from the insulator will be less harmful now I show you how to operate this incinerator just switch on the mains MCB use this PID controller for temperature settings you can see a set point press this button set use up and down keys to set your desired temperature Usually it is set between 800 degrees Celsius to 1000 degrees Celsius. When you see your desired temperature, just press enter. Now the temperature of primary chamber is set. Same like for secondary chamber. Press set button. The temperature of secondary chamber is set approximately between 600 degrees Celsius to 700 degrees Celsius. When you see desired temperature, press enter. Thank you for watching our video.